Yes, I've just remembered that some of you might be asking that, Rachel, do you know how, how that heartache or how that person affected my life? Do you know what I have had to go through because of these people? You're just like, you know, you sincerely, you do not know what happened to my life. Yeah, true. Maybe I do not know what you went through. But I know what I personally went through when somebody did hurt me and really did break me up. When someone, now this is my personal testimony, way back, I think it's around 20, if not 22 years back, it's around 24 years ago, and somebody really messed me up. Somebody totally changed my life. Because if that incident didn't happen that 11th day of February, you know, 1996, that morning, it was on 11th February. I remember it very well. 11th February, 1996. Somebody changed my destiny someone altered my life probably this wouldn't be my life today if that incident didn't happen to me that day it was heartbreaking it was family breaking it was hurting it was painful and i always tell people that if i wasn't in connection with god Maybe I will be dead today. But because of God, the things that you go through in life that can kill you, but God preserves you for a reason. God gives you life for a reason. Sometimes they, these things, the bad stuff, I think sometimes they happen because I remember when that happened, the verse that came to my mind was the verse of Joseph telling his brothers that, that it happened for good, that whatsoever happened to me, you throwing me to that hall and you selling me as a slave to Egypt. Joseph told his brothers, it happened for good. Now, for those people who have really hurt you and actually changed your life because i'm sure some things you're going through right now happened because of maybe that person who hurt you way back maybe like those years of mine thank god that some things did happen as bad as they are and pick yourself up like i did i picked myself up and I took my time back. I went back to 11th February, 1996. And I forgave that person. And I let that person go. And as we speak right now, I love that person very much. I embrace that person. If they call me right now, I'll be there for them. I'll do all that they deserve to be done. I'm keeping it discreet because it's a, it's a sensitive issue. But I'll do it just as God will want me to do it. Why? Because I went back to my past. A past, people always say that, let your past be. But let me tell you, my friends, you can never let your past go because your past is your shadow. It's always, as you walk with your today, here is my today, and here is my tomorrow, my past is always here. It's always whispering to me. And don't lie to me that sometimes your past doesn't whisper. It does. You always remember that boss of yours who sucked you 
because you said no to his sexual advances. And because of that, you still hate that person up to now. You still remember that conductor who overcharged you and maybe dropped you in another stage, not where you are intending to come out of the car. You've never forgotten that. You still remember your mother the day she chased away your boyfriend, who you thought was the right man for you. You've never forgiven forgotten that neither have you for, for God, forgiven it you always remember your sister who maybe took away you know there are so many things that we can lie we can superficially lie to the world that it doesn't affect me but sincerely speaking deep inside here it hurts it's painful and whenever you remember it you cry yourself to sleep or for those who are so spiritual, they speak in tongues the whole night. And for those who are also more spiritual, they wake up and pray and pray and pray. Something about forgiveness you don't have. Yes, you pray about it, but make sure you forgive sincerely. Forget and let go. And why did I say that God has to intervene? You know, I, I remember in my first video I said, it, it, you require the heavens. For those who do not, maybe who, who, who think there is no God, then you need that power that is beyond you to overcome that hurt and hatred in your heart. For your tomorrow, you know, and for your today, because you start with today. Because it is today that makes tomorrow. Now, imagine from your a childhood, eh? somebody rejected you. Somebody hated you. Somebody was jealous of you. Somebody maybe even took a... Do you know, sometimes we carry heartache of even somebody eating your food. You know, you come home hungry. And you, the food you had prepared for yourself has been eaten. You know, you go mad. Why did they have to eat my food? It was eaten. Now, remember, forgive, let go, move on. Do you know why here we say keep it moving? Because we have to keep on moving. We cannot stand on that. I cannot live in 1996. I have, to, I have vision 2020. I have vision 2025. I have vision 2030, 35, 50, by God's grace. I cannot carry that to my vision 2030. In fact, I have not even carried it to vision 2019. The issue I'm talking about right now, about 96, that's my issue. I forgive it, any, I had forgiven it long time ago. Why? Because I knew that one was not only going to destroy my life, but it was physically going to kill me i wouldn't be sharing this testimony if i hadn't forgiven that person and whatsoever that person did to me <laughs> terrible worst um for 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 respect we won't mention names but whatsoever that person did to me only god knows and I am here today declaring that by God's grace, you can forgive. You can let go of that man who broke your heart, of that person who stole away your money, of that man who turned your deal so-so and maybe destroyed it. You can still forgive those people and face your tomorrow richly, successfully. Because you cannot say, I love, when you've not forgiven these people and for you to be able to love yourself you know just forgive because whenever you try to love yourself with that heart and hatred in your heart it doesn't come out perfectly so for us to see the kingdom of god right here and right now we should be able to let those people who have broken our hearts who have done us bad stuff maybe you're raped yeah maybe somebody manipulated you even in school please 
tell God to teach you how to forgive. Forgive them. Yes, forgive them. Remember them and forgive them. And if they are around, go to them and tell them, I have forgiven you and I love you. Right now, I love you. Hug them, kiss them if you can. Tell them, I have forgiven you. I have sincerely forgiven you. And I have got no grudge with you whatsoever. The moment you do that, believe you me, there will be a miracle. And the first miracle is the healing of your soul. The peace everlasting. You will experience God in a different dimension. I'm telling you, it is possible with God. Nothing is impossible. You can forgive even those sins. Like the one I did forgive. It was like the one of Judas and Jesus. But by God's grace, because mine was total, it was it is beyond betrayal. But I have been able to grow out of it. And when I turn back, I see God. I see victory. I see that God is able. And now even as I walk with my past, I can look at it and I can smile. Because the people who have hurt me, I have tried my best to forgive and I'm still working on my life because let me tell you, as I said, you can be hurt seven days in a week. It is true. You can be hurt 365 days a year. So you can be living your life forgiving every day something that somebody did to you. It can be anyone under the sun, but by God's grace, we can do it and try it, do it then tell me give me a testimony and i'm telling you we can celebrate jesus because he's awesome and he teaches us to do things beyond us i love you people and i'm happy to have you there keep me posted kindly subscribe bless you amen